Hello guys, this is uh, Roplik and I'm going today to review the F1 Black Miner. Okay, this is an FPGA uh, Miner in the shell of a uh, Essex. It looks like an Essex, even the control panel looks like an Essex, but actually it's an FPGA. There are two boards inside, each of them have uh, six chips, six, so for a total of 12 FPGA chips. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to review um, on three different coins. I will. Uh, test it on the bismuth, I will test it on the uh, XDAG and I will test it also on the 0x Bitcoin ok let's start immediately, I'm going to use uh, to power up the miner my desktop uh, power stop is a Corsair 750 bats ok I will show you how much power is it using we will check also how much uh, how noisy it is and uh, yeah it's kind of noisy it's kind of noisy not as much as an s6 miner not as much as an s9 but it's quite loud now it's booting up this is the control panel it just watches the control panel you have to uh, fill here with the ip of the miner and a username and password and you will be inside it the control panel is very easy to use. I mean, there is nothing special here. There is a overview, administration, monitor. I mean, uh, it's very easy. We will go through all of these uh, pages, but it's super easy to use. I would say it's a plug and play. So now it's booting up. It will take like one or two minutes. Let me refresh the page. Still not connected. Still not online. The fan is still not spinning fast. It will take uh, still, I think, one minute. Okay. As you can hear, it's quite loud. Okay. As you can see now, we have F1 Black Mina is online. Whatever. Administration, you can change your password. I mean, it's very straightforward to understand. <coughs> In the upgrade page, the most important part is this part where you can uh, upload a new image. What are the images? Uh, this miner is an FPGA miner and it contains inside uh, four or five bit stream. Every bit stream uh, is an algorithm, okay? But the, 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 the memory space is not enough to contain uh, more than four or five algorithms. So, if you want to upload other algorithms, you will have to delete the ones that you are not going to use. Okay. So, miner status. As soon as you boot the miner, it will the miner it will start to mine immediately uh, to the last pool that you use it to mine before shutting it off. So, let's go to the miner configuration. Uh, the first time when you boot up the miner, the miner uh, it will take a few minutes to. Loading to go to go to the minor configuration page. It's loading. Okay. Still nothing here. Give it a few seconds more. Okay. As you can see here, we have the minor general configuration. Here I can select which of the coins algorithms I want to use. Actually, I can change this one. I can remove one, two, or three of this one and upload the other ones. The ones that are available. It's super easy. <coughs> Sorry. Here. Now I'm on this route, you just fill with your pool, your address, very easy. Now already mine here, let me refresh the page. Okay, still not online, it will take a few more minutes I think to, uh, for the pool to show up. Minor status, in the minor status you can see the address of the pool where I'm running to, my wallet address and the hash rate. Actually this is the real time hash rate is the average hash rate. It's online since one one, one minute and 33 seconds. If I want to update this page I have to just click here again on my status and do the refresh. 22 gigash and this is the frequency the this is the gigash per each board and the temperature. The temperature is not a problem. I, I see that the temperature is always low, between 55, 56. And if you're wondering about uh, overclocking, yeah, you can overclock the machine in this page. I 
and there is a not too space to overclock it but actually I tried to overclock it even just a few and as soon as you try to overclock it even like 10% here 5% the miner will start to throw errors and you will find here a lot of errors and the hash rate will go down there is no way uh, you are going to keep more than what the advertise and uh, honestly I think the overclocking is not going to work like on the SX miner I think that uh, it's the big stream that is going to tell the miner how fast it has to go so I tried but it didn't work let's see the pool here you go, the mirror is online, it's picking up, let's see how much is it using, it's using now 620 watts, 63 decibel of noise, which is quite loud, let's wait for the let's wait for the different pool to update, if I want to change the algorithm, I just have to the coin, I just have to go here, for example, I can select 0xBTC, it will show me the I can see we have pool number one, pool number two, pool number three. We are on cascade in case of there is some problem with the first one, it will switch automatically to the second one. It's my address. I think it's 70B, as you can see, it's already ready here. Zero, but we will test this later after a few minutes. I just have to click save and apply and the, the miner will reboot and restart on this new coin. Let's see here, but it will take now it's showing uh, no it's crazy, it's showing more than 50 just because it's uh, just started 52 gigabyte giga, giga it will now for sure go down. As you can see here, I was mining during the night this was, and the average was about 22, 23. Same as uh, what they advertise it for. Minus status, average 21, real time 18, real time 18. Nineteen. Of course, it's not correct, but this is just because it's just started. I like this machine, it's quite easy to use and uh, it's very straightforward. You don't really need any computer, you just need a wire LAN cable connection and uh, power software and that's pretty much it. I'm going to refresh the page, take some time to update. Sorry guys about the external noise, we are installing the photovoltaic panels so they are working on the roof of my house Ok, now we see it's getting better now, 29 Ok, it will be the same as before no. So, this one, this big one I'm going to switch to zero it. It's already set the pool. My address. I will just save and apply, and the, the, the miner will now reboot. It will take like a couple of minutes.
it's already showing up. Toast pool. Seven gigas. Then this should reach about 20, 21 at the pool. Let's see if it's already showing up here. I'm showing the share, but still not the hash rate. Eighty gigas. Thirty-seven here, but of course it's not correct. It's just because it just started. It will take a few minutes to to show the correct values. The fan is picking up. Temperatures again fifty-five, fifty-five. Okay. Twenty one gigas. Okay. Let me see if it will take a few minutes to show the correct value. during the day and it was correct. And before you, you always have to want to check to the average hash rate, not the, the real time. Real time is fluctuating up and down. So this mine looks very very simple, very easy to use. Very easy. The heat coming from the back of the of the miner is not not really much.